Middle East, Turkey, Europe, transit fiber route is going to be my hot topic. Hi everyone, this is Vida Schmidt live from our Berlin studio and you're very welcome to today's CC uh, executive webinar live interview. I'm honored and excited and delighted to have uh, my special guest today, Omar uh, Demir, Chief Commercial Officer at Turk Telecom International. Hi Omar, it's good to see you again. How are you? Hi, Rida. It's very good to see you as well. Thank you for having me for this interview. And I hope everything is well in Berlin. Thank you. My great pleasure. We met almost uh, one year ago, Omar, or to be more precise, 17 months ago. And uh, uh, we had together the interview um, and you shared some updates at our previous series of interview about double digit growth, um, uh, uh, clients uh, or customer service portfolios, new investments in uh, infrastructure, submarine, uh, as well as market penetration in Africa, enterprise solution, and other areas um, you touched base today. Uh, myself and uh, the audience, we are very um, pleased to uh, hearing all you share with us about new updates. Uh, so let's begin. Uh, please tell us about the latest happenings at the Turk Telecom International. Vida, it's good to have this interview again after 17 months. Uh, it's been quite a while. Once you say 17 months, you realize that, my goodness, it seems like yesterday, but it's been a while. So again, thank you for having me. And I am very pleased to update everyone who will be joining and listening to what we have new or and what we have existing and what we have grown so first i would like to kick off with the word meta which is middle east turkey europe transit fiber route is going to be my hot topic which i am going to get to in a bit however before that let's kind of go through some of the things that you mentioned uh, such as double digit growth and other milestones that we have achieved so a milestone for tti actually is for two years in a row, we have been able to reach double digit growth, which for the first time since its acquisition over a decade ago, uh, we have reached this level. And I would like to, of course, thank all of our partners, customers, and vendors. Without the tremendous support of True Teleco management and my colleagues, this would not have been possible. While diversifying our product portfolio, we continue to focus on our legacy wholesale business. We offer new niche routes to an ever-evolving demand due to the growth across the board. Euroweb, which was a former subsidiary of TTI, is now fully integrated into TTI, and we're going to be launching some new products alongside with that in Q4 of 2023. Aside from Euroweb products, in TTI, we have developed some of our own in-house products under the umbrella of TTI. These products are uh, DDoS, Cloud, and some IPX products. And these ones are going to be more detailed announced, and we have some more products coming as well in Q4 of 2023. Thank you, and congratulations. Uh, and these ventures and developments sounds very uh, promising for the Turk Telecom International. Moving on, um, how are you seeing uh, the new market uh, situation and continuous fast digital transformation impact uh, Turk Telecom International business? And what are the greatest uh, challenges and opportunities to meet clients' demands uh, going forward? I mean, as we all know, the market gained a lot of momentum due to the pandemic. We saw huge increases in capacity and demand across the board. We adjusted accordingly, and I think everyone in this notion kind of capitalized on that situation. However, hyperscalers seem to have uh, slowed, scaled down on that appetite, on that aggressive appetite that they had to expand their network. And we this we see this, and this is starting to become a challenge for the market. And the other challenge is inflation global inflation, for better words. And 
while there's global inflation going on in the world, we're talking about hyperinflation in Turkey. And this has significantly increased all of our cost items, including but not limited to human resource, equipment, and all related other items. And a but on the bright side, however, fast digital transformation means more demand for capacity, new routes between Asia and Europe that are required to meet this demand. Thus, this falls in line of our strategy in expanding eastward to increase our foot footprint in the market. Alongside with this transformation comes, of course, new technologies that reshape the future of the market. This plays an important role on the change of environment. And I think the key is adaptability and sustainability for all who are involved in this industry. Very interesting, Omar, and thank you very much for sharing these new updates with us. Now, uh, let's look ahead. Um, you 17 months ago, you uh, shared the company focus uh, with us. And uh, today I would like to know uh, in the audience, uh, what is um, your company focus in the coming years and um, uh, perhaps also new uh, investment plans in the future? Uh, does the focus stay, uh, remain the same as it was in uh, 2022? For the major part, the focus remains the same in 2022. However, we have made a few additions or tweaks and adjustments, as we mentioned earlier, the hyperscaler is slowing down their aggressive growth plans, uh, but we have adjusted accordingly. Now, TTI's investments include new terrestrial routes that are secure, low latency, and shorter between Middle East, Asia, and Europe. These routes are significant alternatives to subsea cable methods. Meta, as mentioned earlier, is a major transit fiber project amongst many others that will enable us to achieve this and meet the demand in the market. Meta, also known as Middle East, Turkey, Europe, transit fiber project will connect the Middle East from either al or Arar to Istanbul or to any other destination in Europe. And we can carry from past Istanbul through our own network into Europe. Meta is 50% shorter in distance and more secure than the cur current traditional subsea cable systems, thus providing lower latency. This route will provide the best solution for all partners involved. We have completed our initial test phase and we are ready for implementation and rollout on commercial scale. Therefore, TTI is accepting orders starting today. So for those out there, I would say get in while you can, because once we set and lock our pre-sales, then our sales will start in Q1 of 2024. Besides Meta, uh, we are working on alternative routes to the Far East. We have launched a new terrestrial route from China to Turkey and extending into Europe. This is a, very, a milestone for Turk Telecom. This is a milestone for the region as well. With our trusted partners on the Caucasus region, such as in Azerbaijan, our strategic partners there, our strategic partners all throughout. We tested the route a few months ago and we have taken our first order and we started implementation and the route is live and active. As the Turkish government has taken action to enable Istanbul to be a digital hub and the plans of many other include to make their own capital cities as digital hubs. However, ge geographically speaking, we are positioned in a very strategic area or position for better words. Thus, this enables us to further our plan to become a digital hub. And this is just not the government's sense of plan or action. This is actually our own True Telecom's plan and action that we want to emphasize and move towards. Therefore, our investments as a group and a country will always continue to establish Istanbul as a digital hub. Part of our investment plans include Africa and expanding into the continent of Africa. The country, then the Republic of Turkey has done a very outstanding job in the outreach programs for Africa, whether it being in different countries, helping with their infrastructure, helping you know, develop a lot of things in those nations. And of course, when it comes to infrastructure services, we always talk about telecommunications as well. 
So we have been in contact with a lot of the companies out there and we have established a good foothold. So in our strategic vision for the future, uh, even if it's not for the short term of five years, whether it's midterm, you know, to long term, our goal is to have sustainability in that region and to be a chosen partner for the whole continent of Africa. Last but not least, we have been working with hyperscalers for a long time, and as everyone else has been, and our investment plans are also shaped by the interest in the region. We expect to launch many new routes and projects with them. So my, for better words, stay tuned. Thank you for sharing this excellent uh, news uh, and the uh, updates again. And uh, sounds like Turk Telecom International is facing an exciting road ahead with these new plans and company focus. Um, before we go, uh, Omar, is there anything else you would like to uh, share with our viewers? Vida, I would like to thank you for this interview first and foremost. It's always a pleasure to speak with you on screen and off screen in many of your events that you put together. Uh, we are always thankful to be a part of those and meet all of our partners, vendors, and customers. We are looking forward to meeting you guys again once we're out there. And my last piece of message to everyone out there is please feel free to contact us. We are with you all the way as partners, as customer, as vendor, because it's only as together, if we act as one, then we can reshape the future. Thank you very much, Omar. And I must also add, it's always a great pleasure for me to meet you in person, but also uh, conducting these executive interviews online um, yeah, on a yearly basis and share updates um, uh, from your end and with our audience. Um, and uh, again, thank you for being my um, special guest today and uh, doing this interview uh, with the CC team. Uh, and myself, and I'm very much looking forward to meeting you in the next, most probably Middle East, GCCM and you know, Muscat, and our next update interview, hopefully in 2024. Um, to everyone uh, watching this CC executive interview with Omar uh, Demir, Chief uh, Commercial Officer at Turk Telecom International, thank you very much for tuning in. Goodbye, everyone. Until next time.